I wanted to give a quick overview of how I'm doing my Wally. Um, my Wally is comprised mostly of styrene uh, parts that are cut from my Cricut, you know, vinyl cutting machine. Um, and then I'm also incorpor incorporating lightweight 3D printed parts. Um, the goal is to make something that is extremely cost effective and also lightweight uh, so I can use smaller motors, um, it saves on weight, saves on power, makes everything a little more affordable. Um, so I want to show you kind of what I've been doing in my process throughout uh, making these files and printing, printing them and cutting them and all of that. So basically I, I've started all my references based off of Matt Long's uh, 3D Wally. So I've kind of, you know, I've inserted this um, block right here, which is a four by four by four inch block. And that's kind of what I've used to reference size for the entire thing. And I've basically started by each side. I'm in orthoscopic view and I've uh, exported, you know, images of the side view, for instance. And then those become individual sheet uh, cut files. So this would be one cut piece. This would lay on top of it. This is the lower side. Um, and then I would cut those pieces. This is all of the other angles that are on the side and the back. Um, and then also little things like this. I have created my own pieces that are thin and I've just 3D printed them. Um, so let me show you what a cut file looks like. This is the solar panel charge uh, cut files. So these are all basically built up with layers. So again, it starts with a screenshot. In this case, it's this. And I start building up from there. So first, this will be the underlying uh, layer. Um, then I start building in the brackets and all of that until I get a finished piece. What that looks like when I'm actually going to print it is this. This is all the cut pieces that get cut out of the styrene and I will show you what a cutout piece looks like next. So these are the pieces after they've been cut out of the styrene and I'll quickly kind of put this together just so you can get an idea. Everything is built on layers, so here's the base layer, and then things will get layered on top of each other. And it's kind of difficult to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Obviously this will all get glued and will be nice and secure, but this is just to show you Again, very rough done, but um, all these get built up and when they're glued down, they will be the front of the solar charge panel. Here's an example of uh, the side and I've kind of quickly taped these together with scotch tape, but so you can get an idea. This is the top half. This is actually a separate piece that gets glued on. Um, this is all cut and taped together. And then pieces like this, I made a very thin, lightweight uh, 3D piece, uh, 3D printed piece that will get glued on there. And then I've also 3D printed again using Matt Long's files, uh, pieces like this that go right on the edge. You can see this one. Same thing, everything lines up great. Um, so this is just an example of the side. Here are some full sheets that I haven't uh, popped out yet. These have all been cut on the vinyl cutter. Um, I don't know if you can see those lines, but this is just, uh, this is actually for the top of Wally. Um, and these just snap right out. I can't do it one-handed, but they snap right out. Um, they're all pre-cut, so they are very easy. Uh, just pop them out and then you assemble them. 
Where I'm at with the head is originally I was going to do the entire head out of styrene. Um, doing the curves uh, was proving to be a little difficult. It wasn't as good results as I wanted. So instead, I opted to create these uh, lightweight um, files for all the curved pieces. So you can see this is about two perimeters thick. So it's very lightweight. It's pretty flimsy. The front I have made look a little bit thicker. Um, and again, I'll try and do this one handed, but again, here's a styrene cut piece and that pops in just like this. And then it, you know, that completes the face. Um, also for the back pieces, again, using the 3D files available, I kind of remade very thin versions. So these are all thin and lightweight. Again, they're, they're almost vase mode. Um, this one is about one perimeter and this one is maybe two perimeters thick. Um, again, I'm just trying to be as lightweight as possible. This will eventually go in here. These pieces are still uh, styrene. I'm just going to kind of place it together for now. Again, this is all cut styrene, but it goes like that. And you can see, start to get the general shape. Um, still need to do the bracketing, but this would then slide in for his head. So that's what it is so far. Hopefully very soon I will put all this together and have something much better to look at. Here is some of the pieces put together. Now this is <laughs> very crudely assembled. It's actually just sitting on a box and things aren't exactly uh, where they need to be, but you get the idea. Um, so you can see the front. Uh, I, I do have the Wally letters already cut out, but they're just not on there yet. Uh, solar charge panel. Um, the top, I still need to do the half circle tubing and the joints there. But you can see some of the detail here. Side is still far from done. Um, but you get the idea. Here's the head. Um, Again, this is 3D printed parts uh, combined with the styrene. I have these um, with magnetic strips on them. So they just pop right on. Uh, I have a little internal structure there. And this just goes right back there. Um, when he's finished, he'll be able to uh, tilt his head side to side. So I got to get the servos in there and also I got to print the eyebrows. But that's it so far. I'm pretty excited. He's coming together. Um, again, still a lot of work to do, but it's coming along. Not too bad for basically one weekend of work.